So we've got our top favorite movies of 2023. You know, and in no order. Was, yeah, in no order. No this order. was kind of like a combined effort. Basically, the ones that we did see. We have Saw X, which was my pick. Phenomenal yeah. horror movie. This could not have come out at a better time because I started off the year with watching like watching the whole, the whole franchise. The whole, yeah, the whole nice. franchise and the whole, but like what they call it, it's a chronicle. Like the chronicle of Saw and so is a pretty good horror movie, so you guys check it out. Then we have Suzume, which I have not seen. Wow. <laughs> it's, see, I had to add something. I had to add anime there. It's going to be weird having a full movie list and not having one anime. So I was like, yeah, yeah I did see Suzume, which was a good one. So mm. let we it be should, there. That we should like actually talk about that anime stuff. Because I was looking at the Golden Globe list and I saw some things like, finally get to some recognition. But we'll, we'll get back to that. Yeah, and Saltbone, which is your pick. Yeah, which we're oh my god! About today, that was that was crazy, man. Fair play, fair play. I don't know, was it? The people really talk about it. Not really, not really. But I enjoyed it. It was um, it was such a good movie. It was a nice one. Yeah, yeah. the switch. <laughs> the, honestly, like the switch. It, it kind of like opened my eyes. You know, we're learning every day. We're learning every day. We have our opinions yeah. and stuff, but and sometimes. Most of the things that I feel I know, mm-hmm. most of the ideas or most of the thoughts I hold, like most of them are driven by the movies I saw from a kid up to now. And mm-hmm. it was just so, it's just so nice seeing a movie that could give you a fresh new perspective yeah. on how things. I like were. I like how the tables turned and the, like it flipped. My I really head. I really liked I liked that. It yeah. was it was really good to watch and I enjoyed it. Definitely, you you guys check out Fair Play if you haven't. Then we have Talk to Me, which in my opinion was the best horror movie of last year like hands down i like flat i like how it wasn't trying too hard it was just very mm. basic but still it was well done and you youtubers know? did this movie by bro it was amazing <laughs> that's sick it's I like sick. i like you put that like it felt like it was like a passion project for something like for like they really wanted to do this yeah you know and they yeah. put everything into it i really liked it they are like us man <laughs> on youtube and they decided to make a movie man it's it's between Talk to Me and Evil Dead Rise. Evil Dead Rise was it was really good, but I knew what I was expecting. Yeah, I, Talk I to Me. See Evil Dead Rise. You haven't seen it? Oh man, it was nasty. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty good too. So I'd say it's Talk to Me first because Talk to Me is original, mm-hmm. and then Evil Dead Rise. And next we've got Past Lives, which that has to be. I would say, <laughs> would I say my favorite movie of twenty twenty three? I would say it would be my favorite movie of 2023 mm. and only because when I watched it, mm. it was just bliss from beginning till the end. Yeah. You know, it was so many feelings, but bliss was like on top of it all. I was just, <laughs> I was just like, yeah, this is such a good movie. Mm. You know, it was so easy. You know, it flowed just perfectly. Just Nothing was out there. of place. Like, the tempo, the beats were all right. Oh, it's my ridiculous. God. The music was amazing as well. Like, I, I felt so good. The soundtrack, everything just flew, flew the way it was supposed to flow. I remember when I watched it, the first the first thing that came to my mind was like, this is a Makoto Shinkai live action. It was. Facts. It felt like, that way. The cinematography, yeah. every single thing about it. And I was just like, this is great. And, yeah, I would say it would be, like, my top movie. You know, of for, 2023. Yeah, 2023. It's movies like this that actually make me feel that last year they actually they actually did yeah a lot. But this yeah. is this is probably our first our first year in review on the podcast. Mm-hmm. So I I wonder if we would say the same thing for movies for 2023. <laughs> Yeah, in 2020. I mean, 2024 and 2025. We'll, we'll, we'll find out we'll eventually. Find, well, yeah. I don't know. We'll find out eventually. We also covered past life in the previous episode. So if yeah, you want did. to check that out, it's a pretty short episode. And we were gushing. <laughs> Grown men gushing <laughs> <laughs> about what was delivered. Uh, Blackberry. I, I had not seen it. Blackberry, Oof. no. No. But actually, was, I saw this on great. someone else's list as well. That was, that was great, bro. I... Yeah. I I, comedy, I am, right? I'm, I'm a, I'm like, was it comedy? It wasn't really comedy. No, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I really like biopics. Mm-hmm. I really like movies, you know, you know, based off of, you know, real life events and stuff. Mm-hmm. And when I watched it, the acting was stellar. You know, the story, everything just was amazing. I, I really, really enjoyed watching that. I did not, I don't really think I have anything bad to say about it, you mm-hmm. know. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those movies that should, 
be on your list. You yeah. should watch it. I have it a, a lot of one. catch it up to do, right? Don't worry, you'll catch up, man. There's, there's no hurry, bro. Take it, take it at your, your own pace because, yeah. man, sometimes I envy people that haven't seen some certain movies. And yeah. it's just the truth, bro. That's, that's the way I like it, honestly. I, I don't like to... I don't know. I'm not one for the hype, mm. especially especially in like uh, the fan base, like an anime, like the anime fan base. There's a lot of hype, a lot of rush to start the anime merely when it comes out in the season, and I'm like, nah. I'll just give it like a few, maybe four episodes before I start it. You know. Uh, next we have Asteroid City, and man, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That that there's no way. I wouldn't put the West Side. When I, West Side has to release a, a movie last year and then how, how would it be on the list? I'm sorry. That was my pick. I'm very sure. I'm not sure you've watched it. Have you seen I it? Have it? I have Grand. it. Let's just leave it at that. It was didn't good... he drop like five movies Yeah, he last dropped. Year? Yeah, he dropped. He dropped a lot of shots last year. Like mm. several shots in on Netflix. I've seen all of them. Mm. But um, Asteroid City was like the, the full movie, you yeah. know. So I, I would say it was a nice movie. It was very West Anderson like Mm. So yeah, yeah. I I just like Wes Anderson movies for what it is, mm. and that's just what it is. Yeah. And next we have, I think, the giants of last year, Oppenheimer. <laughs> that's I mean, there's really you can't really say much about this movie because it was just good. It was mm. just goddamn good, honestly. It was epic. It was. It was epic. It was yeah. a good movie. Everything about it was just banging, man. Hmm. I don't know how they made the score, like the the soundtrack. Ludwig, man, <laughs> oh my Ludwig god. is a god. That was that was that was like man was like you know what rent is due. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta collect. <laughs> man killed it. It's like, uh, it's like Christopher Nolan hired me for a movie. I have to deliver. <laughs> Guy pull out all the stops. But who? I, I know you're no one for comparisons, but I saw uh, there's this Instagram profile we follow. Uh, black black bars. I don't know if you know them. No. Yeah, they review movies and stuff. And the dude was like, "Ludwig is great and all, but he still prefers Hans Zimmer." On I'm, no I'm not comparing any of them. Yeah. I like you do something that is amazing. I like it. It's as simple yeah. as that. Mm. You know, I have seen, for example, in Interstellar, Interstellar. Hans Zimmer killed it. And so, you, so you can you can't tell me you can't tell me I want to bring both of them together. See, but whatever movie you're doing mm. you have a particular um board you're working off of you yeah. know this is what the movie is about this is what the emotions should ever when the sound is playing this is how you should feel you know mm. so you can't start comparing them they are both amazing composers you yeah, know? Both so, of them, yeah so so wh- whatever board they are working off of based on the movie they are working on, on off of is is what you're going to get mm. you know i wonder so, why he used ludwig for this project though because all his other projects are Hans Zimmer. But Ludwig is, you know, he's stepping out. Like, yeah. I mean, he was on Black Panther. He's been on major projects even before Black Panther, but I feel Black Panther is what really puts him on the map. Yeah. Then Oppenheimer, come on. Um, this is that's, that's what I just got to say. It's, you know, mm. whatever board they're working on, they want the, the movie to evoke specific emotions, the music and everything. So then mm. they will give you what it's supposed to feel like. So yeah. you can't really start comparing them. They're mm. both great. For you to be able to do that consistently on that level, you have to be great. It's as simple as that. Yeah. There were some sounds in that movie I did not even know existed. <laughs> like the the string theory sound of yeah. the lights when they're all moving fast. I was like, what? It's I didn't even know that something could sound this it way. Is, it's amazing. I'm very sure <laughs> if you see a video of him saying, oh, this is what, what I did to, to you know create the sound. You see him outside, mm. water flowing to Mike doing something like this. <laughs> you know he just tests his work. you know it, it oh, gets man. it gets the sound and then it's it's amazing i like Insane. it's just beautiful man yeah and next we have the covenant which was pretty good that was a pretty good that was a good action thriller i really liked it you yeah. know it was just you know giving everything it's supposed to give beautiful yeah. beautiful i think we covered that as well yeah i think yeah. we did yeah. yeah we did so check that out as well uh we also covered Oppenheimer, so check that out the holdovers, which is not one I've seen. Yeah, it's it is um Paul Gia, 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 Mati. Gia Mati, yeah. So I the guy from uh billions. Yes. <laughs> Chuck. Okay. So <laughs> in billions mm. there is something about um how they act, in my opinion. You get I'm mm. very sure people have varying co- opinions as well. That makes it seem very robotic. Mm. And I've mentioned it before. Yeah. Yeah. But somehow the the acting here was similar to that, 
here. Mm. But it felt very right in this case because mm. he was acting as this character and I felt that was how that character was. Mm. But then every other person in the entire movie had their own varying characters and their own varying acting styles mm. which complemented with his. Yeah. But you see in in Billions, they mm. all have this robotic style of acting. Yeah. You know? Mm. It's like they're reading off something but they're not reading off something. You kind of kind of almost know that I'm they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> but, you know, well, they've read it off, yeah. you know. But if, if, for example, I'm going to compare that to other movies where I know that these people are not, you know, this is not their job, mm. but they're acting. But still, it doesn't sound robotic or feel robotic. Mm. For example, in Grey's Anatomy, for example, I'm, I'm yeah. gonna, also going to say in um, Suits, mm. you know, these these are not their, this mm. is not their job. They, they really embody the role. You get. Yeah. But then in Billions, it, it started so well, the first two seasons. I was like, this is amazing. This is an amazing show. Mm. But then as it's, kept going forward i just started feeling very robotic and mm. i don't know why mm. maybe it's just me yeah i have a friend that loves billions like yeah. he really loves billions so so like maybe it's just me but mm. but for the holdovers he killed he killed the role the mm. movie was amazing the story was legit amazing as well it kind of gave me that dead dead poets um, society, society yeah. feel mm. you know when i was watching i was like ah, this just gives me that feel you know oh captain my captain kind of thing mm. but anyways that's that's just by the wayside so i really enjoyed watching it so get the time watch the movie it's, yeah. it's really good that's one i have to catch up on yeah. next we have dream scenario I haven't seen that either <laughs> nick I like Cage. I liked that one. That was a very. It was a very. In my opinion, hmm. I'm still gonna say in my opinion because I'm. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it felt very original. It was like an yeah. original story for me. I was just watching it and I was just like, okay, this is new. Hmm. You know. Yeah. Man, everybody starts to see this man in his dream, in their dreams, and it was just random. Hmm. You know. And obviously, like everything, you want to start taking advantage of it. I'm becoming popular, you know? Yeah. He always wanted to write a book. Now he has the opportunity. Since everybody knows him, he wants to write a book. But then everybody wants to talk about the fact that this is what's happening. And why it's happening. Yeah. They're not really interested in, you know? Mm. And uh, eventually, the dreams start to take a turn. And people start seeing, like, the dream starts becoming horrific. Normally, the dreams were just him just standing there doing mm. nothing. You know, whatever they were doing. But now he's hacking people with uh you know mm -hmm. shooting arrows he's trying to kill them he's it's becoming to... something else and yeah. now people are scared of him they're scared of him and he's a he's a professor and mm -hmm. now his, his, his students don't want to come to his class you know now he's having issues with school so he's now becoming terrible so what started off as something that he could something, capitalize yeah. out of he couldn't anymore yeah. which was very sad yeah. uh then eventually he just turned to something else and you know yeah it's a nice movie and um mm -hmm. it, just just watch it. It's not like you're expecting anything crazy to happen. And it's just a story that just, you know, went from this to that. So, yeah, I, yeah. I really like that one. I love Nick Cage movies. Like, I watched, uh, oh, Christ, what was the other one he dropped uh, in 2022? Something, something, being a badass. I forgot the name. Uh, I probably just cut that part out. Was it the one with him and um, Pedro Pascal? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot the title. Um, yeah, it was pretty long. Best friends or something. I, I did watch that one. <laughs> It yeah. was a nice one. Yeah. yeah, it was a nice one. Uh, next, we have To Catch a Killer, which I loved. Yeah, I think you told me to watch that one. I probably, it, it flew off like my radar. It wasn't on my radar at all. You haven't seen it yet? I've seen it. Oh, it wasn't on my radar mm. until you, you recommended that we should watch it. I think we're supposed to do it, an episode of it or something. I can't really remember. Definitely. But, it was really nice. But I saw it and I was like, oh, this is a nice movie. It's kind of thriller and trying. It, it was very believable. Very, like very down... <laughs> It from was like down to earth. from from a period of 2022 where we got so much overhyped stuff, and then it kind of bridged into 2023, and this just came out. It felt right, yeah, like when it dropped. It was very raw, and yeah. I liked the I liked it for that fact that it was just uh, really down to earth. So yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's people. Cool. People are not talking about that movie a lot. Yeah, that's why I was like, it wasn't on my radar at all. At all, you know, I did obviously see some few, you know, advertisement here and there, but still, but you yeah. Know, Shailene no Woodley. Now. It gave me that. I think I watched it right after Emily the Criminal. And so those, those two movies <laughs> yeah. just kind of settled me yeah. in a way. You know, very nice. Check. It's felt check, dark check, as check well. Him. Yeah, very dark as well. Uh, next, we have a man called Otto. Yeah, yeah that was one of the first nice movies movie. that was. So, 
that we spoke about yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so well, it was early last year and uh, it was one of my favorite movies because it was just very beautiful soft yeah you know mm. very soft and i loved it tom he hanks, hanks mm. does he does all the amazing stuff and you should watch that movie if it's not on your list yeah and next we have sound of freedom this, this was your this was your pick I don't know why you made it to the top of your list. Which one? Sounds of Freedom. Ma, have you seen the movie? I have. Man, that movie... It was great. It was a great movie. It was like a real challenger. Like, it, it just came great, out of nowhere to upset yeah. everybody. Like, out of nowhere. And the studio that did it and stuff. Every, you just don't expect this type of movie to come out. And then there were these talks that Hollywood is trying to suppress it, blah, blah, blah. All those yeah, that's why it was, it was not a very popular like, movie, movie yeah. last year. But somehow, I, yeah, I did see it and I really liked the movie. Oh, you man. Know, I was nearly made me cry. Like. Yeah, it was sad, honestly. It was honestly. Sad. Yeah, it made, made it to the top of my list. I don't know. Nowadays, I'm feeling more original yeah, stuff. No, it's so boy. It's so boy. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, man, my, my Marvel face is over. <laughs> yeah, so boy, you're not, ready. you're not ready for all the action anymore. Nah, nah. Next, we have, uh, I feel these ones, everybody knows that they were supposed to be good. We had Mission Impossible, Death yeah, Reckoning. Great, great movie. Really great. Nothing Across, else to say about that. You know, you know what it is. Across the Spider-Verse uh, has to be up there. <laughs> there's no way that won't be on the list. It's amazing, man. <laughs> I saw it again on the plane oh, back man. home, like... I watched the first one, second one. Like th- That's crazy. these guys know what they are doing. Uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Haven't seen that yet. Wow. Yeah. Let me tell you. Like I saw that in the cinema. Mm. I was really tired that day, but I still went to see it, and I was able to stay awake all through the movie. Mm. Yeah. Open am I didn't even bat an eye. I was just like, yes, but just this, go, keep going. <laughs> this, I was so tired, but I still went to see it and I stayed awake all through because it was really good. It was mm. a good movie, but it was so long. I could feel the length of the movie. Mm. <sighs> With open ham, I didn't feel it, but you, I you can't feel it. Open I man. felt the length of this movie, man. I yeah. wasn't gonna lie. Like, oh man, <laughs> <laughs> Martin Scorsese, you know, it, dude still delivers mm. at the age, you know. Uh, next we have Are You There God It's Me Margaret you haven't seen haven't it seen that one yet no. beautiful movie man yeah. it's a really nice coming of age movie it's very soft it's always mm. just like you know nothing it's not very wild and crazy and mm. you know it has um, Richard McAdams coming of age movie right yeah it has mm. Richard McAdams there as well so you know mm. I like our movies yeah nice uh, and lastly, oh, not lastly, we still have some notable mentions. Dungeons and Dragons on a Thieves. Good movie. Pretty it was, good. Pretty it was it was fresh for yeah. <laughs> you know for you know its genre. It was fresh for its genre, which was yeah. grand. For a movie that did pretty much the same things that Marvel movies do, it's they did it well. They delivered mm. well. At the point where everybody was like, we hate this marvelization of superhero genre. This one actually did it. Uh, let's just list off the notable mentions. We have Joy Wright. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. We, all, we watched that together. I was, yeah. <laughs> I was just laughing at it. It's like, it I, really loved, I really loved that movie. Yeah. Evil great. Dead Rise, They Clone Tyrone, yeah, Knock at the nice. Cabin. I haven't seen that. Yeah, obviously, I, I feel all the horror on this list is mine. <laughs> yeah, I believe so. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, John Wick, Chapter 4. Yeah. Pretty stellar movie. So, those are our top movie list. Um, we have series as well. Yeah, if you, if you want to add some that, you know, you feel you should have made the list, you can let us know. And yeah. um, hopefully, we've watched some of them and we can share our thoughts on those as well. You know, yeah. we have this up on our Twitter. If you can want to join the conversation, then yes. that'll be fine. Follow us on Twitter. You or know you, you want drop, to. Or you, you drop a you comment. <laughs> <laughs> or you drop a comment on, on this and, you know, we'll yeah. follow up there. The Last of Us series. series. Are pretty long. Uh, should we just list them off? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's going to be crazy watching it. I know they're going to have to say anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah, let's just, let's just list them. If okay. not, we'll, we'll sleep here, man. Yeah, exactly. It's going to take too long. Our top 20 list... The Last of Us, Poker Face, Shrinking, which I have not seen. Amazing. Swarm, which was the most disgusting show of last year. Beef, yet Amazing. to see. Amazing. It, yeah. won, it won a couple of awards. Like, uh, come on, man. That's how good it was. My, I loved it. 
Mrs. Davis. Uh, I didn't even oh, know people loved this show that much. I saw good. that comment on yeah. our Twitter. Uh, a Small Light, uh, Queen Charlotte, <laughs> Silo. Oh, pretty epic oh, show. Man, I loved it. Walking Dead, Dead City, Ahsoka, One Piece, live action is not dead, thank God. Uh, the Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, Gen V. Also disgusting, pretty disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> the fall of House Usher, which which shocked me. Like, I didn't expect what what we got. I didn't mm. see a trailer or anything and went in. After that, I immediately saw Midnight Mass and I'm checking out uh, to do other stuff. Uh, the, I'm going to watch The Haunting of... Um, I forgot the title. The Haunting, Haunting of Hill House. Hill House or something. Yeah. Like I'm going to watch that. It's on my list now. Lessons on Chemistry... Yeah, lessons in chemistry actually. Lessons in chemistry. Yeah, no <laughs> it's problem. a good one. It's a good one. It's yeah, good I saw one. it was nominated actually in the Golden Globes. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but anyway. Me neither, man. Me it was neither. it was a good movie still. I liked the story, you know. Hmm. It was it was nice. Castlevania Nocturne, Blue Eyed Samurai. Oh peak. Like talk about peak. Top tier, man. <laughs> Top three, like ah, come on! I was what you know, I was keeping you updated while watching. I was like, God, top tier, can, top who comes tier, up with this top shit? tier, man. just two dudes. Like. Loved it, bro. Loved it. <laughs> Loved it. Monarch, which is pretty under the radar, but actually top pretty tier. good. It's really good. Um, yeah. just, I think yeah, it's, it's still on. Yes, yeah, watching still it. On. Mm, still watching it. The Diplomat, which just solid, solid show. Uh, notable mentions, The Night Agent, Rabbit Hole, Buccaneers, Twisted Metal, and The Continental. Uh, we didn't have a, an anime list because we didn't see all the anime list. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, that, those are our list. I'll, I'll put like screenshots on the screen if you want to pause and check those out. And roast us while you're at it. Or if you love it, tell us too as well. Uh, 